Greetings, greetings, beautiful Virgo beings. It is your girl, Kiandi, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel, Wild Moon Child Style. Yes. Oh, I just saw an orb go by. That is so dope. Good, good. Spirit is with us. Um, I wanted to come on today and, of course, do your monthly reading and to apologize. Uh, I did actually do a reading for you all and um, it, for some reason, it was really hot out here and my phone overheated and I'm like, okay, that's cool. It overheated. I put it in the shade, you know, gave it a little chill time and came back to it and continued my reading um, once it seemed like it was okay and then um, went to... Um, cut it and paste it and upload it and uh, only had half of it like the second half of it so here we are again <laughs> it's all good it's all good it was a really good reading um, hopefully we get that same energy today however this is a reading for the collective consciousness the sign of Virgo so um, this is going to resonate differently for each and every one of you in different areas of your lives be it um, intimate relationships co um, um, or otherwise <laughs> just keep it simple yeah, keep it simple but I hope you all are well and I hope that you had a wonderful Halloween and October and I hope that you got to utilize that beautiful full blue moon, the second full moon of the month um, on Halloween. It was a good time to set some intentions, to clear away some old negative and stagnant energies, uh, things that may have arisen during that uh, Mercury retrograde that we are now in the shadow period and coming out of, uh, moving back into the direct position. Uh, um, so that is, that's wonderful. I hope that you did get to utilize that energy <sighs> so that we can traverse time and space on the, with the intentions to manifest what we desire, right? We don't want to just walk around this earthly plane, letting things haphazardly happen to us. Um, so do know that, uh, me as a spiritual teacher, my job, I feel like my purpose is not to hold your hand and to walk you through this journey, but to, to reinforce to you that you have always had the power and you always hold the power. The only times that you do not is when you allow your, your power to be um, swayed by circumstance, people, place, or thing. Um, we all do it. We all do it. It's, it's natural. Oh, I hope y'all can hear me. I did not have, I did not plan on having that earbud in, but, oh, I hope that y'all could hear that intro. Um, I did not intend to have that earbud in, however. Let's get into the reading, Virgo. See what spirit has to confirm to you, to clarify to you, or give you information to help you traverse time and space, to live your best life, to set clear and concise intentions, and to give you information to help you make those sound decisions so that you can um, stay in a high vibrational frequency and create your own damn vortex. Not constantly be looking outside of self for anything. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know where that just came from, but thank you, Spirit. <laughs> All right, Spirit, Guides, Angel, Guides, Divine Ancestors, please give me clear and concise messages for the collective consciousness of the sign of Virgo. What do they need to know? What information, confirmation, or clarification can you give them for the month of November 2020? Um, I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for you all this month. Um, and um, so the first card that I'm going to pull is going to be your overall energy coming into November and out of the energies of uh, October. Uh, what is their overall energy spirit? We got the Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take. That's beautiful energy to be coming into this reading with, which means that you are in relationships, be them intimate or otherwise, that are equal reciprocity. Um, so what you're giving to those relationships, you are getting back in return. And um, it is, it's, it's balanced energies. So you are 
definitely around people that are like tribe members for you and but I mean tribe members it's you know those people that are equally yoked those people that are kindred spirits those kismet relationships that are meant to be in this physical reality in this lifetime because they help to propel us to um, greater heights right but those good people those good souls that feed our souls that give us encouragement that that um, pour life into us and speak life into us and are just genuinely good people. And when you're around people like that, you have to align with that vibration or you will feel completely uncomfortable in those situations. So any of you that are not experiencing this in some way, shape or form in your life, do take stock of where you may be adding resistance to those people. Because when we are around people that annoy the shit out of us or bring up some type of negative emotion or energy within us we have to then ask ourselves what part of that person or what part of their actions is being reflected back to us because what we love about people what inspires us about people is are those things that we can see in ourselves we may not be actively doing those things but when we can see it in someone else and we can praise it in someone else and we can feel it in someone else like oh that person's doing that that's some dope shit that's what I really would love to do you know that's something that you're seeing within it's something about a part of you that is being reflected back to you from that person and the same with somebody that you have negative feelings or um, energies about okay what will be challenging you what will be the one thing that if resolved would give you the best month ever mm -hmm. you got the king of pentacles that masculine creative energy the manifestation energy the one that you know rolls up his sleeves and creates his destiny that energy coming in as a challenge for you all um, what is in your recent past is in your recent past You have the strength card, beautiful energy. You were facing fears. You were stepping outside of your comfort zone. You were conquering those self-sabotaging, self-limiting beliefs and, and coming out of them stronger, more healed, and with more strength. All right, and that was in your recent past. Now your near future, Beautiful reading so far. Beautiful reading. Equally as good as the one that we lost. So, I'm pleased. Mm -hmm. Is there a future? Excuse me, their near future. Near future. The Hermit. I think this is the... Um, I try not to get into the... Um, signs but this is definitely Virgo energy this is that self-reflective time to you know check in with the shadow with what is in alignment what is being shown to me fully and what I'm still in the dark about myself what am I choosing to hide versus what I am choosing to let be exposed um, that time to just check in with the self in solitude so that our frequencies are not interrupted when we're checking in with the self <clears throat> and that is in the near future beautiful energy what is crowning you this month what is um, on your mind pentacles that feeling of lack but what I mean by crowning you what is on the mind you know this is going to be that 
those times of resistance, those times that we have that self-doubt when we're not standing in our in our strength. So that is what's crowning you. What is in the subconscious mind, the lower self? <clears throat> what is beneath them this month? Mm -hmm. The nine of, excuse me, yes, the nine of swords in reverse. It's that, it's that, you know, not able to rest the mind, not able to get the rest that you need to, to wake up to have a clear thoughts, you know. And I can see how it would, how it comes together with the uh, five of pentacles, pentacles being what's crowning you at this time. What is the advice from spirit this month for the collective consciousness of the sign of Virgo? What is <clears throat> advice from spirit? You know, these cards are like sticking up like nevich. We are not going back. <laughs> yes, you are. Jump out. You want me to reach it. All right. Advice from spirit. <laughs> the page of... <laughs> this is good. This is very good. Um, the page of, of, of cups and uh, the king of cups energy. Put those together. It's very good. Uh, what is I'm loving this? I'm loving this reading, Virgo. And what is your um, external influences? What outside of self is having influence on you this month, or may have influence on you this month? Hmm. Mm hmm star star yes beautiful what are your hopes and or your fears mm -hmm. your hopes and or your fears this month the king of is queen of swords in the reverse all right and what is your outcome what is the outcome mm. <laughs> the chariot forward movement, baby. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. And at the bottom of the deck, the energy coming in or out of October and into November for the collective consciousness of Virgo is the three of pentacles in the reverse. Now, in the upright position, this is when we are open to relationships with people that are brought into our ciphers, into our lives, that are brought there to align us with something that we have planted seeds on. This is something that we want to grow into fruition. It's something that we want to achieve in our lives, something we want to attain in our lives. And um, these are the people, the little like spiritual helpers in the physical form that are coming in and, and helping us to get to our ultimate goal, right? In the reversed position, this is saying that there may be people coming into your cipher at this time that are not what you would view or imagine to be these types of helpers. They may come and they may look very different to something that you would equate to helping you in, in, in any given situation. So there's that resistance there. It's like, it's like you are going in for a job interview. You know you're great for this position. You know that you um, are really going to love this company. You have all these thoughts in your mind of how you know it's going to be to work for that company, how it's going to feel to work for that company, what kind of people I'm going to see there, you know, and 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 you already have painted this picture in your mind's eye, and then you go in for your interview, and the, the person that's interviewing you comes out, and they like look like almost like a bum or something like you know it's just jarring to you to think like oh this person 
that visual is out of alignment with what I am envision this job place to be. You look like it's that resistance. Now your mind goes to, I don't know, you know, this place, he's looking crazy than a mug. Um, that kind of threw me off. I mean, now you're questioning the seeds that you've planted. Is this going to align the way you want it to because it's coming in a, such an or orthodox alignment with the thoughts and the seeds that you've planted on how to attain something. So that's the energy. You may be around just um, different people, but the people that are being led into your life at this time um, are there and they serve a purpose. They serve a purpose for your um, your greatest good or the, you know, the seeds that you planted to live your greatest good or they're there to um, help destroy you if that has been your intention, you know. And I, what I mean by intentions is the things that we plant in our mind, the things that we say to ourselves, the things that we say about ourselves to the out world, I mean the outside world, um, and thus create these realities that reflect it. So, <laughs> be mindful. <laughs> if the people that are appearing into your cipher or on a frequency of self-destruction then you have to then question the self like how did I end up with people like this because that's not who I am that's not what I want to be around that's not my thing okay and then realign yourself get clear and concise about what is in alignment with that <clears throat> Your energy coming into the reading this month is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, like I said, that equal reciprocity. I mean, reciprocity. Yeah. <laughs> it's those people, you know, having that interview with this person that's in they like slippers or something, house shoes or something, and some shorts or something, and, you, and a suit and tie on the top. Like, <laughs> you know, it's being jarred, yes by the outward visual and how it aligns with your ultimate goal, which is to work for this really great company that seems really fun and really open and you know has growth potential and you know wherever this fits in your life. It doesn't have to be about a job. This is just an example. Um, but then having the best freaking interview, the most relaxed, laid back, you know what? I really am going to love it here because it's, these people are my people. You know, I ain't got to worry about that. If he can come in here looking like this, he cool with himself looking like this, then maybe I can relax and I ain't got to wear a suit tie all the way buttoned up here, you know, and having this persona that's the seed that's been planted as what a successful company looks like, you know. And this may be a very successful opportunity for you. But be open to the infinite ways that spirit is going to bring and align those things the seeds that you're planting you know if you haven't set any intentions then you may get chaotic energy because your energy is not centered and focused and, and in tune with any particular thing so you leave your energy field open to whatever right <laughs> what is challenging you this month Virgo is Standing in that power of knowing that you can create. That if you want to build an empire, it's going to take that work. It's going to take that dedication. It's going to take that clarity, that, that plan. <laughs> and that knowing that I'm about to align myself with things that are going to propel me towards the pentacles. That's going to have me sitting in a place where... I have created this reality for myself and I know this and because I know this I know that I have the power to build it bigger or the power to have it. how you doing have the power to just self-destruct right mm -hmm. now in your recent past you had the strength to face some fears you went outside of your, your, your comfort zone. You stepped outside of the box. You faced something. <laughs> it's going to be different for each and every one of you. However small or big it appeared in your world, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. However, there is some area in your life or some particular situation, be it person, place, or thing, where you've had to conquer some type of fear. 
whether it be something epigenetic that you know that has been passed down through your generations and your family as it pertains to whatever this endeavor is whether it's a relationship or a job or the ability to advance you know um, the ability to ascend but you were able to tap into the self to realign the self and to face something that would normally have made you just run and hide, like create that, you know, it's just too much. I don't know if I'm ready for, you know, that, that, that battle, you know. <clears throat> In the near future, the spirit is gonna say to you, it's gonna be in those times where you are not around anyone but the self. To be mindful of the thoughts you're thinking about any particular situation in your life, any particular endeavor in your life, relationships in your life. To get clear on what you give the self to, the energy to. What am I showing the world? Is it in alignment with who I am today? Do I need to, you know, realign my belief system? Do I have to, you know, how do I harness my energy? How do I call back my power? It's in times of solitude. It's times that we check in with the self. We have all of the answers. The only time we think we don't have the answers is when we just totally ignore the self. If we think about any particular situation in our lives and we just sit with that thought and allow it to play itself out, think and also take stock of the emotions that arise, the hate that arises, the love that arises, the joys, the sorrows, because those are all lessons that are now embedded and become part of our genetic makeup. They are, it's actually in your blood now, the experiences that you've experienced. But in times of solitude, in times of this hermit energy, it's that checking in with the self, what needs to go? What is no longer serving me? What do I need to now make my focus? And how do I bring it? from within out not find it out there so I can be happy how do I be happy now I have to consciously make the decision that I'm happy now and when I make the decision that I'm happy now then I can only be happier in the future it's not a ooh in the future I'm gonna be happy because I get this or whatever's out there it's something that's always gonna be out there and it's always gonna be outside of the self and out of reach if we don't do this. <laughs> what is crowning you? Not doing this. What is crowning you is a place of lack. Is thoughts of lack. Thoughts that I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to step outside of my comfort zone. I'm forever going to be the one looking on the outside, or from the outside looking in at other people enjoying their lives and doing, you know, these great things. And the more you feed this energy to your crown, what is on your mind, it can only create a reality that is reflecting that. You know? This card to me is saying like these people were out there, they was just looking in that window and they saw them people in that building nice and warm and eating, probably having a good old time. And they just feel like they can't go through the door. Like, oh, they probably, if we open the door, then they probably ain't gonna let us stay in there. So we just gotta stay out here, you know, and just watch them enjoy themselves until we just so cold we gotta go. But we're not ever able to, you know participate in, in great things and to have those good things. Pinnacles is those tangible things. The home, the car, the relationships, the job, the career, the entrepreneur, you know, the business, the whatever. Just to feel and to plant the seeds that it will never happen for me 
or I'm not worthy in some way. I, I, I don't, I'm not deserving in some way. And spirit is saying, in these times, really all day, throughout your life, throughout your day, when you tell yourself you can, or you, and when you tell yourself you can't, you are always right. So what are you going to feed? You're going to feed your light. You know, those things that are going to help you to live your greatest good and live your best life and, you know, to feel successful, even though your successes may like, look like, you know, what commercials say success looks like and what society says success looks like. What does success look like? to you? What does it feel like to you? Can you see it in your mind's eye? Can you feel it in your heart? Can you touch things in that reality with your hands? Can you hear sound while you're in meditation and seeing that life that you just never thought you'd be a part of? Because you will forever hold this energy as long as you hold the frequency of lack. So in times of solitude, raise your vibration to a frequency, even if you are not there right now. If it's a relationship, do the manifestation work before you go to bed at night. Meditate on this the partner that is of your dreams. If it is a particular person, it can be a particular person. However, can you feel what that relationship looks like? Can you hear that person walking in from work and saying, hey, baby, I'm home. You know, can you feel that person laying next to you? Can you feel them breathing? What they breath smell like? What is their cologne or perfume smell like? How tall are they? You know, if you can imagine that in the mind's eye first, and that's how it becomes you know, physical in this, in this 3D reality. Because when you can plant the seeds first, see it, hear it smell it, taste it and touch it here first then what the universe does is align you with it <laughs> bring in these people places and things that align with it and when it starts to come to fruition those people, places and things that are aligned with it will be confirmations of those seeds that were planted like for exa example you you have you don't have a partner at this time you want a partner you've been using this technique of visualization to manifest you sit in your bed before you go to bed take some deep breaths clear your mind clear your conscience you can lay down because even drifting off into a sleep state, the mind at that time is in the theta, uh, is in the theta um, delta state, where it's it's digging into the it's, it's it's aligning with the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind can't distinguish, you know, dreams and and desires, imagination from reality. So before bed, meditate, close your eyes, see that person. See why you're with your eyes closed, them in the bed next to you. What do they smell like? What do they feel like? Are they touching you? Can you smell them? Can you look over and physically see that? Without opening your eyes and seeing nothing, can you see it there first? Because when you see it there first, when you do align with that, then you will get those confirmations. One day you'll look over at that person and be like, holy shit, I saw that image of you sleep like that, almost like a deja vu. Deja vu is confirmations of things that have already happened, you know, time travel that we've already, that has already taken place. And it's just a reminder, like a snapshot, like, yes, you've been here, yes, this energy has, has already been created. Now we just needed to create it in the 3D reality. <laughs> There I go, just off into my Pisces otherworldliness. But I hope that it is resonating with you. Um, 
What is beneath you? What is in the subconscious mind? What are your thoughts about the situation? What are your thoughts about, you know, this month and coming into this month in your life in general at this point in time? Le uh, Libra, uh, Virgo. You got the Nine of Swords in the reverse, which is good. The subconscious mind wants to release the things that are keeping you awake at night, the things that are out of alignment, those things that are out of whack, those things that just don't let you relax and breathe and know that you are good. It's that on edge energy like, ooh, my mind won't shut up. There's too much going on out here. I don't really know how to deal with that. It's that tensing and tensing and tensing and tensing energy because it's 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 here that it's affecting you. So when it affects this, it affects everything around you. It affects every person around you. It, whatever's going on in that person's mind is, is a direct reflection of the people around them, the things that they're seeing and the things that they're experiencing. Period. So this being in the reverse position, you know, what is on the subconscious, the subconscious mind is ready to relax, to release, to, to let go of anything that is holding it back from its greatest good. Because when you know you're being held back from your greatest good, when you just can't rest, <laughs> when you can't just embrace what you have in this moment where you are and just be like, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good because I'm here. I'm good. No matter what the fuck I'm facing right now. Your advice from spirit. My phone is acting wonky. And I do not, do not want to lose your reading again. Advice from spirit. The page of cups. Be naive. Be open to not knowing how this is going to work out. Be open to the infinite possibilities and ways and people, places, and things that spirit is going to bring into your life to align you with the thoughts that you have set into motion. Be mindful of what thoughts you set into motion because it's going to propel you to that. <laughs> this is that honoring that inner child to me. Um, this is that water energy, those things that make you emotionally fulfilled. Like, you know, when you would sit as a child and just think about your life as an adult and be like, ooh, when I grow up, I'm going to be this grandiose thing that, you know, society just made smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And smaller. If we were not able to hold that thought, it's like people that are super successful, you know, artists and singers and stuff that are super successful. Do you think they just woke up as a teenager one day and was like, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be, you know, this awesome, great talent. And I ain't never sung before in my life. Some can do that. Some have the power to just really propel that thought, even years later. But most often, it's seeds that have been planted from child, planted from childhood, or something that is something deeply rooted in the person, and they don't even know that they're aligning with it. They don't know that when they said as a little kid that I'm gonna grow up to be this great singer on Broadway or on, you know, going on tour and all this stuff, and they would just sing their favorite artist stuff in the mirror, and they can imagine in the mind's eye, and the crowd goes wild. It's like those baseball players, and they like. You know, in their mind's eye, they can see the crowd going, and they feel that emotion. Oh, my phone. And the more that they could hold that thought, the more powerful that thought became, and the more momentum and alignment, the more they practiced, the more they held that thought. The more they spoke about it, the more they held that thought, fed that thought, watered that thought, made it something greater than they ever really imagined. But that is the focused intention. What is your inner child wanting? What think back on some situation in your life that you that would really feed your soul to have at this time? Because spirit is offering you an opportunity with this page. It's this new beginning, this fresh start, something that's new to you, something that you know is going to fill you up emotionally, and it wants to mature that energy as this month goes on. You're coming in here with. Your advice from spirit is to get in touch with the emotional self, with that part that you being a Virgo may not, you know, you're not a water sign, you're not something that's open to, you know, expressing emotion. Now, planetarily, you know, within your birth chart, you may. However, generally speaking, for the collective consciousness of the sign of Virgo, it is definitely Spirit wants to mature the energy of tapping into the emotion, the emotional self, what feeds the soul self of the Virgo this month. 
what will make you emotionally fulfilled and balanced and able to honor that sometimes the heart and the ability to be open and adaptive like water is a necessity. But that's a lesson you are going to be exposed to this month, Virgo. So that is awesome, awesome energy. Um, what is your external environment? Your external environment is nature. Get out there. Get out there. That's your external influences to reconnect with the self. Get out and to connect to everything that is within you. Look up at those stars and see that they are really mirrors reflecting you to yourself. This is the wishing upon a star. This is the healing of the self to get out in nature and to get balanced again. To check in with the self in solitude in those times where, you know, we're most vulnerable. This person is completely naked, but they're pouring their emotions into what they do into their healing, into their ascension, into themselves, pulling their power back to them, connecting with themselves emotionally. <clears throat> your hopes and or your fears is not standing in your power, not speaking your truth, not setting clear and concise boundaries, letting things that are not in direct alignment with what you feel you truly deserve and want and desire out of life and allowing them to be swayed by things outside of the self and then internalizing and into failures within the self. We can't do that. We can't do that. We need to stand in our truth. We need to be just. We need to be fair. We need to be kind. But we need to set clear and concise boundaries so that, you know, when people cross them or situations um, bring you this conscious awareness of, oh, they are lacking respect for me. This job is, is not um, respecting, you know, what I bring to this company. You know, it's taking stock of first the self. Who are you? <sighs> And then when you are clear and concise on who the hell you are and what the hell you feel you deserve, then anything out of alignment with that gets sword. But we can't do that in an unbalanced energy. We can't do that when our focus is, is wayward and it's all over the place and it's, it's influenced mentally by things outside of the self. But your outcome, baby. The outcome is forward movement. You will continue to move forward. You will continue to um, live. <laughs> you will continue to, to, to progress in life. But this to me, I mean, it represents, you know, the chariot, the, the forward movement, the taking the reins. I'm taking direction of my life. I'm setting the intention because I hold the wand to will to me what the hell I want, what I deserve. I trust my intuition about where I'm being guided to go. However, I do know that with the Sphinx, it is the shadow self again and the light, the dark and the light. What are you going to feed? You're going to have forward movement. You could have forward movement in the shadow, the self-destructive side. Like I said, the people coming in, are they there? Because you are in a place to uplift yourself. You are in a place that's bringing in people that are resonating on that same frequency as you. <clears throat> Whatever your frequency is, the people will come. Take stock of who's around you. Because they are direct reflections of what you feel about the self. So the direction that you go this month, Virgo, will be a direct reflection, direct reflection of what you're feeding. What state of mind are you feeding? What are you willing to? Is it prosperity and abundance and, and growth and success? 
or is it self-destruction, despair, heartache, and lack? It's on you. It's on you. It is definitely a choice that is going to have to be made this month to be mindful of how our thoughts become things. And the last thing I'm going to do for you is pull a moonology card for you all. My five-year-old is just big and coming out here. Big and coming out here. He's like, are you done? Are you done? Is that the way to go? Your moonology card this month. Virgo is, let me get my old lady specs because y'all know I can't see a damn thing without my glasses. Shit, I see with my third eye, so these two eyes, these visual eyes are garbage. <laughs> You're up, meditate and contemplate the new moon in Pisces, baby. Meditate and contemplate. Get down to it depths of your soul self who are you what is the best course of action for your life what do you want to see your life what does it look like because if you don't know what your happiness looks like you will forever be searching for it you will be searching for it through things and people and places and you will never be able to find it until you find it within first right so with that being said, ooh, child, I'm wild. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Until next time, Virgo, I thank you so much. I thank you tribe members for returning. I thank all of you newcomers for coming and joining me and allowing me to read for you. I thank all of those that have come to my uh, website at, at on Etsy. Uh, wild moon child style on etsy and have purchased my one-of-a-kind handcrafted jewelry made by me um, infused with my love and and great intentions for you as you traverse time and space those that have donated to my channel uh, i thank you profusely <laughs> i thank you for people y'all just don't know y'all just don't know how much this has helped me to really branch out and come out of my shell and to really honor what my purpose is here, which is to be a guide to all these souls that are searching for, you know, something outside of the self, to empower them, to save them, to, to help them to ascend. My job here is to show you that you have always had the power, no matter what the circumstances appear in the physical realm, the mind, the mind plants the seeds of our tomorrow. So what we think, speak, and act about or act on today is what we will see in the physical 3D reality tomorrow. So till next time, Virgo, you're gonna let that marinate and you're gonna meditate and contemplate your future self do the meditative work before bed and when you wake up in the morning just give it a few minutes just honor sitting in that space and seeing how you want your day to unfold what is going to happen that day is it going to be a great day tell yourself see it what does it look like what does a great day look like what does it feel like who's going to be around see it here first so then when you go out and you start moving and shaking in this physical realm and it reflects itself back to you, you can say, oh, that's shit right there. I did that. <laughs> Until next time, be loved, be light, be well, Virgo, and stay wild, moon child.